the action taken, no less than by General Gambis himself during the tragic Mama Sapano incident. We have shown both individual and institutional discipline in such occasion as the infamous encounter in Alvaraca as well as in Lang Road to Tabaco. This visit also came at a time when we are more certain of the need to bind closer together. As we enter the final stretch of the establishment of the Bansamoro political kingdom. The forthcoming legacy that we need to harden will finally birth not only a political entity, but also the complete realization of the Bansamoro aspiration. I feel confident that this too, like the many challenges before, will also be hardened in Jamaala. Let me quickly brief you then on the preparations that we have been making in connection with the conduct of the plebiscite. As many of you may know, as part of our transition from revolution, revolutionary to governance, we have registered the political party called the United Bangsamoro Justice Party. This party will carry the ideals of the Bangsamoro struggle, but the means by which we will pursue the same will be through peaceful and democratic process. This party, with the support of the MINF committees, such as the political committee and other institutions of the MILF, is leading the campaign and the political work to ensure that we will succeed in ratifying the organic law for the Bangs Award. This will test our ability to compete in the democratic process in our country for this, we will need the assistance of everyone interested in bringing about peace in the region. We have been grateful in the gesture of many local government units in expressing their support to the ratification of the organic law and in the formation of the VTA, which will be laid by the MILF. The first to have expressed their support and who visited us here was the provincial government of Lana Wilson, together with almost all of their municipal mayors. This visit and expression of support triggered a, a chain reaction that saw many others, LGOs and other officials, expressing their support and visiting us here in Camp Garabana. These LGOs included the provincial government of Tawi Tawi, the province of Magindana, the provincial government of North Kutamato, and some mayors from the municipalities of Lana of the Norte, and also the entire government structure in Marawi City, from the mayor to the councillor and the barangay leaders uh, in Marawi City. Despite this show of support, we have been conscious and objective in our assessment of the prospect of the ratification of the law. While there is popular support from the general public or the Bangsamoro people of the Bangsamoro organic law, there are still politicians who feel threatened by the rise of the new political entity and the possible change in the political landscape of the region and or of their respective NGOs. There are those who feel that their political fortune may change when the organic law is instituted. In response to this, and owing to the realization that we will need to focus on the more urgent need of organizing the Bangsamoro Autonomous Regional Government, 
and ensuring that it will deliver. We have already passed a resolution at the MILF Central Committee expressing our policy of uh, non-participation in the 2019 local election. In our assessment, we still face challenges in the ratification of the organic law in the following areas. Land of the nothing because of the nature of appreciating the majority vote, where it requires not only yes vote in the concerned municipalities, but also a yes vote for the consent of the whole province of Lanao de Lop. The attitude also of the local chief executive in Lanao de Lop and his political plan presents a formidable challenge in our push for the inclusion of the six municipalities that already voted yes for autonomy in 1989 as well as in 2001. Because of the requirement of a double majority, a majority yes in the barangay and a majority yes in the municipality where the barangay is situated. The city of Isabela in Basilan province is also a challenging because of the influence of the politi politics in Jamblanga City in Basila, and in Isabella. There are also a lot of misconceptions and this mis disinformation among the population of Isabella. Closer to home, the city of Cotabato presents a unique challenge, not only because of the mixed population in the city, but also the exposition taken by the local chief executive of the city. But also uh, uh, beyond the immediate politics in the city, the symbolism of the outcome of the PVC and the consequence of the same will be far reaching. We will need to take appropriate measures to ensure that the city becomes part of the Balsamoro Autonomous Region. In this connection, we will need to bring together all our persuasive capacity to convince these LPOs to be part of this historic undertaking of establishing a political entity which is in the embodiment of the aspiration of the Bangsamoro people. While we take note of these challenges, we are still confident in the ratification of the Bangsamoro Basic Law and we feel a renewed sense of vigor by your visit in our collective capacity to bring about peace and progress in the Bansamo and the whole country. After the PVC, we will be facing another formidable challenge. The establishment of the Bansamo Transition Authority which will be the transitional government uh, before the regular election in 2022. We are also preparing for the commitment we have in the peace, under the peace process, which is the decommissioning of our combatants. We have officially declared to the president that uh, uh, if the estimated number of combatants we are going to the commission will be from 30 to 40,000 individuals. We have also declared the different uh, categories of uh, weapons with it is in our hands. One, the first category is weapons which are owned by the organization itself. There are also weapons which are individually owned by combatants. As part of our self-reliance uh, in the organization, we encourage our combatants and members 